Locate the rectangular tabs on each side of the nameplate. Insert a flathead screwdriver into one of the tabs and pry up to begin loosening the nameplate. Repeat this process on the other sides of the nameplate until it is completely loose. Detach the boot from the nameplate by pulling the bottom of the boot away and over the retaining flange. Squeeze the boot up and remove the nameplate by pulling it up and around the boot. Remove the four screws at the corners of the mounting plate using a T20 Torx screwdriver. Make sure that one corner of the gate and VCSO body are marked. This will ensure that should the gate become loose during installation, the proper orientation of the gate can easily be determined. If the gate is not marked, mark one corner. Once the screws are removed, squeeze the boot again and fit the mounting plate up and off of the joystick. Lift up the console cover and place the joystick through the mounting hole. Have the VCSO body rest on the edge of the console cover. Squeeze the boot and fit the mounting plate back over the handle to position it for installation. Line the mounting plate up with your mounting holes and install two screws on opposite corners of the plate with the Torx screwdriver. Once the two screws are stable, close the console cover. Add the remaining two screws and then tighten all four. Place the nameplate and label insert back onto the joystick by squeezing the boot up and guiding it through the opening of both components. Snap the nameplate into place. Lastly, pull the bottom of the boot over the retaining flange on all sides to secure it into place. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, visit our website or contact us today.